Welcome to Waterless Car Wash TV with your host, David Elliott. Mr. Elliott covers the waterless car wash industry and meets the incredible people behind it. Today we're going to show you how to mix the Concentrate Freedom One product. You can also do this with the Complete Clean and the Freedom Original product. This is the concentrated version of it and I'm going to show you how we're going to mix it. I'm going to show you the tools that you need to do it, the, the problems you may come into and the reasons uh, and the things you can use to overcome those problems. So first of all we have a five gallon container of Freedom One Concentrate. We have a spigot on it. We have a, a 64 ounce container here, a graduated container marked at the 64 ounce marking. We have a wrench that takes off the, the cap. Okay, and then we have a hammer. Why do we have a hammer? I'll show you in just a minute. Okay, and then of course we have the final product here. And then here we have an, emp an empty five gallon container with another cap with the hole in it. I bet you know what the hammer is for. So first we have to prep our area, prep our, our, uh, our work area here. So we have all the tools, we're all ready to go. We have the empty container, we have the, the full container of concentrate. So first thing we gotta do is if when we take off, let's imagine that this is the full one. This is the full concentrate in which brand new UPS just dropped it off. So it comes with a cap on it like this and it has a core in it. Okay, it has a core. You want to get it like this so you can screw on your spigot here. Okay, so that's where the, the hammer comes in. I haven't found another way to do this a little bit easier, so this is about the only way I know how to do it. If you find a better way, please let me know. What I do is I lay this on the ground and then I hammer the top of it with a small, small hammer. That core pops out pretty easily and you're able to screw the spigot on, put it on the container, and we have an air hole right here. It's closed. You have to poke it with a with a poker, some type of uh, screwdriver. I sometimes drill it, and that and that lets the, the air in when you pour it. Okay. So now we're, we've got that taken care of. So what we have here is a 64 ounce, which is a half a gallon, and I got this at a local feed store, a livestock store. And we, I put a marking on it, a 64 ounce, half a gallon. So we fill this up with 64 ounces of concentrate. We turn the spigot, we fill it all the way up. And once it reaches the top, we turn it off. And then we, we come over here to the empty five gallon container. Okay. And we pour it in. Boom. We pour it in. And then we can take some deionized water. We can take mineral water. We can take anything that, 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 Tap water is okay if you live in an area where the tap water is good. So if it's not super mineralized and lots of calcium in there, then just use tap water. But bottled water would work. A lot of different kinds of water will work. The better the water, the better the product, okay? So deionized water seems to be the best product and the best water that I've used. So you fill this up. We have 64 ounces of, uh, so here we have, here we have 64 ounces, which is a half a gallon, half a gallon of concentrate. You fill it up with four and a half gallons of water, which makes five gallons. It's a little bit above here. So then if you only have one spigot, you take this spigot off and you put it on this one. Or if you have two spigots, you can, you can easily put it on here and then you can start pouring bottles just like this. Okay? So again, I might have missed this part. This is the wrench that you take off the, uh, the cap with. It's a 70 millimeter wrench. And it's a little expensive, about $10 a piece, maybe a little bit more. And that's basically how we mix the concentrate. We go to the concentrate to mix the ready to use, RTU, ready to use. Okay, again, we went over a couple, let me just recap everything here. We have the concentrate, we filled up the 64 ounces, that's a half a gallon. The mix is one to nine, so one part to nine parts of water equals 10 parts. Okay, so we fill this up. We put the concentrate in here, we fill it up with water to the five gallon mark, and we put the cap on and we were able to, we were able to pour bottles very easily without making a mess. And uh, this right here will mix 
20 of these bottles and then you can mix it all over again. Okay, thank you for watching and we'll see you later. You have been watching Waterless Car Wash TV with David Elliott. You can find Mr. Elliott at freedomwaterlesscarwash.com.